uh, this was, you know, first and foremost about dignity, I think, uh, freedom, and certainly economic uh, well-being. Uh, but if you look, if you unpack the question of dignity, the collective identity in the Arab world, you cannot posit it in any shape or form without reference to the, centra the relationship between the, the Arabs and the rest of the world, and particularly uh, the, the Israel-Palestine issue as a central uh, problem in the way people identify themselves. And what we have seen over the past decade is that the public has been far more angry on this issue than the governments have been. And now they're going to have a voice. It's not that this is necessarily going to be their top priority. They want food, and they want freedom, and they want dignity, and they want all of these things. But now they're going to be able to air these questions, uh, like the Arab-Israel issue, and they have been in Tahrir Square. And what, when you have a, an event like this, um, let's say you have an Egyptian election, you have parliament, and then there is a Gaza explosion, then the, it rises in the priorities. So it, the issue rises in the priorities, and then the public will is going to be manifested in the behavior of the Egyptian government in ways that we have not seen in the past. And I think that's true for most of them.